And what I mean by that is go to screen manager and do the to do. And what we need to do is call the screen menu. And the screen menu has a draw method, so we need to call that and pass it sprite batch. Now if we press F5, our program will run, but we'll get a error. And it will say invalid operation exception. And we need to call begin first. So we need to modify our screen manager draw method to sprite batch dot begin draw all of our screens and call base dot draw then sprite batch dot end and let's get rid of the comment as well now if we press F5 we finally got some output but wait the text is messy well, at least we know our game is working like it should at this point. We got confirmation that our menu screen is being displayed, and our text is being displayed appropriately like it should, but we need to modify the positioning. So we can fix the text right now, and the reason the text is messed up is because of the way we set the positioning. We need to find the measurement of the text in order to display it properly. And to do so, we need to use the sprite fonts objects measure string method. So, let's add a vector to property for get only in the text class to retrieve the measurement. So we'll go to text.cs and let's put it right under position. Public vector2 size get return screen manager dot sprite font dot measure string this dot text and that's all we need to do So now we need to change the positions like you see in the diagram here. So the we set the initial text position of item 1. That's 30, 80. And the other text items are relative to each other. So this will be 5 pixels separation from each other or whatever you want to decide. So in order to determine how to space it properly we call the last text items size dot y and then add that 5 now we already added that 5 so we can just add our last text items y size to our position now we have a problem if we provide this in the menu screens constructor our program will crash before beginning due to a null exception. So change the constructor to have five as y values except for the first item in each list and create a new method called update text positioning that will add the text size to the text position vector. Now this method will have a return type of void and will set every position relative to the last and of course besides the first item in both lists. So let's do that now. Now what we want to do is change all these to 5 values. Okay. So now that they're all set to 5, we need to add the update text positioning. Public void update text positioning and these will just have a for loop 
in two regions menu help okay and we'll have two for loops and the for loop will be INTI is equal to one we start as text item one remember in an array or a list zero is the first element then one is the second so we want to avoid the first element and while i is less than menu entries dot count and i plus plus and we'll call menu entries dot or sub i dot position plus equals new vector two zero comma menu entries sub i minus one dot position dot y plus menu entries sub i minus one dot size dot y and we're going to do the same thing for the help region except to replace many entries with help contents Okay. So now we have a method to update the text positioning, but we don't have a way to call it. Now, the way I set it up is we're going to call it after the sprite font has been loaded. That's why before we got that error is because sprite font has been loaded. So after it's loaded, we're going to call screen menu dot update text positioning now if we press F5 oops aha forgot to end the curly brace okay so now if we press F5 our text is displayed appropriately now next tutorial we'll discuss input and possibly many screen modifications and screen manager changes. So I hope to see you next time.